Send this video to that person in your life who says that getting rid of guns won't solve the gun crime issue. We're going to take a look at two stories from the last week and one that is about a year old. Last week, Phoebe Copas, a 48-year-old woman, was charged with murder after shooting her Uber driver because he was Mexican. and She thought he was going to take her to Mexico. She shot him because they passed by a street sign that said Juarez, Mexico. And instead of calling the cops before or after the shooting, she took a photo of him after she shot him. Or what about the fire chief in South Carolina who pointed a gun at teenagers who turned into his driveway? Oh, but this headline doesn't capture all of it. They drive into his driveway, he points his gun at them. Then him and his son chase them down. They're being charged with false imprisonment. Why? Because after running them off the road, they dragged these kids out of the car, put them on the ground, and pointed their weapons at the back of their heads. Sorry, at the beginning of the video, I said that two of them were recent and one of them is old. Two of them are old, one of them is recent. Here's another one from last year where a 12-year-old girl was accused of making a murder pact. And after posing for a photo with her dad with weapons, she shot her father and then shot herself. Without guns, this Uber driver would be alive and his family wouldn't be in suffering. Without guns, this dude would not have been able to traumatize some teenagers. And without guns, this 12-year-old girl and her father would still be alive. But yeah, it's not the guns, right? Because this kind of stuff happens in other countries like Canada and Australia and the UK, right? I hear about this all the time up in Canada. People just, you know, shooting their fathers and then shooting themselves after posing for photos with rifles. It's totally normal.